Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maggie and on my channel I talk about narcissists, their traits, their abuse and how you can identify them. In today's topic I'm going to talk about what will a narcissist do if you confront their lies. There is nothing more frustrating than trying to confront a narcissist. It is more of a tussle than any other crazy behavior. So this is what will happen. Let's say you are a, a wife or a girlfriend. So this is how the conversation might go. You can start like saying, hey, I saw an email pop up on our computer and noticed it's some dating site saying you have matches. Do you want to explain what this is all about, then the narcissist will deny. I don't know what you're talking about, babe. How was your day? He's changed the topic. Then you insist. I saw on the computer that you are on a dating site. What's going on? Narcissists now start gaslighting you. Oh, we lose Continue dwelling in this path about my cheating? Fine then, what about you and so and so? You went out with him last week, right? He wants you. You did something with him, didn't you? I saw how you were laughing at his jokes. Yes, I saw you. You were flirting right in front of me. I cannot trust you anymore. I don't even know why I give you so many chances. Why don't you two go ahead and date and just leave me alone? You can go to be with him and leave me alone. So the, the story has now changed. They don't want to talk about their cheating. They don't want to talk about what you've seen on the computer about them being on the dating site. So then you go like, what are you talking about? I can't believe you have twisted everything on me. You know I don't like him, so you'd start defending yourself. You are now defending yourself because at this point you are hurt. And all this is done because they want you to feed on their game. So you are now hurt and you are now joined in that screaming competition trying to defend yourself and in the process you are feeding on the narcissistic tricks. So again, the narcissist pretend to be very angry and very outrageous and tells you, you are nothing but disgusting. I hate you. Go ahead and eat the food by yourself. Maybe you had something, you were out having dinner together, but now they start sulking and they will leave you with your food. He leaves and then he runs into the arms of the person you caught him cheating on with that email that you got because you cannot understand what's happening now that he's left you focus more on this email and do a thorough investigation so you then reach out to this girl by email and you talk she confirms that they are dating you further hear he is on his way to her house as you speak and then you later find out that he's told her that he was single and wants to move in with her. Since you are now sure that you have the proof and you are not crazy, now you've asked for the evidence and the lady has given you the evidence, now you wait for him to come back because you want to confront him with the evidence that you've gathered from the girl. He then walks in the next day as if nothing happened. Then he says, hey, I'm hungry. Anything to eat? He's forgotten about everything because today is a new day. So he's pretending that he doesn't know what happened yesterday. Then he kisses you on your cheek because it's a new day. The things that he did prior are pushed aside and you cannot hold them accountable. So here you are ready with your evidence. Now you have the hardcore evidence and you are just waiting for his arrival to prove to him that he is guilty. Here you go, you start. 
You were with her last night, right? I spoke to her before you showed up at her house. Look, we had a nice chat about you last night. So the narcissist now becomes even more angry. And now he will now start blaming you, the blame game. And this injury will push them into their corner because they don't know how to react. But they are still thinking. So when they can't know how to react at that particular time and they have nowhere else to escape to, they become a little temporarily helpless. They come back and then again ask you because they are now trying to intimidate you. You spoke to her, right? I can't believe you. If you aren't always causing drama, maybe I wouldn't be cheating on you. Now he confirms to you that he's been cheating. Now you fall into that rage and you start throwing tantrum. I knew it. You never loved me. You always treat me like trash. I'm leaving you. And this is what the narcissist wants. They want to provoke you and then they want you to make the first move. They stonewall you. Once you've gone, they stonewall you, silent treatment, and then discard you. They tell you, fine, we are better off without each other. Goodbye, and you'll never see me again. You ruined us, not me. Now it's a blame game. It's you who ruined us, not him. Bye, then he leaves and enforces the silent treatment on you. So you will not hear from him for some time. Because this is the best time and the best opportunity for them to go looking for the new supply or spend time with an existing supply to kill time until you come around and start apologizing. So you are now confused, filled with guilt, hurt, shame because you think that the, you are the cause, that they've left you. So you try to reach out to the narcissist and get nothing but unanswered calls and read texts and blocked on social media. It's like he disappeared from your life for, for good. And since those who date the narcissist, um, majority of them are codependent with an anxious kind of attachment, we can't stomach the idea of losing them for good. Our whole life comes to a standstill when that happens. You, you now start getting worried because you've started missing them. And by the way, remember, him, he's not missing you. He's not even reflecting on all the bad things he's done to you. He's enjoying his new supply, but he will finally answer your calls because you are a bother. And then here comes false apology and you will fall for it. They start telling you things like, I miss you too, babe. I hate that we keep on fighting like this. I know I'm messed up in the head. I love you, but I hate you too because you drive me nuts. So the key word here, you drive me nuts. So you are the one who is driving him nuts. He loves you, but he hates it because you drive him nuts. He's, he's thrown the ball on your court telling you that I know you want us together, but you know we need to trust each other and things have been so dark for us in the past. I don't know if I can be with you again, but it will take a while for us to get back on track. So almost all of us, everybody who has been with the narcissist will feed into that fake apology. And because this is what we wanted to hear, we agree and but try to explain our feelings. Then you tell them, well, if you would stop cheating for once, I would trust you and would not snoop through your stuff. But since you want to try to make things better because you love them so much, you don't want to go into details. You don't want to ask father what happened. You don't want to bring back whatever happened that made him go. So you go like, I love you and I will do anything I can to make things between us work. You apologize. I'm sorry for everything. So it's you apologizing, not them. And remember now, they have shifted the blame on you. It's not them. It's not their fault. You are now looked at at the fault for the whole situation. 
you start feeling guilty for even fighting because you truly love them. What you don't understand, no matter what you say or do, is not important. You will now be the one to try to put more effort into the relationship to make it work. It's a hard lesson, but all of us, that is how we learn. That is the bitter truth. The narcissist cannot love you, and therefore they will never have the ability to take responsibility for any hurt they've caused you. And again, if you ever bring the past matters up again, be assured that the abuse and the crazy making will start all over again, and this time it will get worse. Just know that every time you take the narcissist back, the abuse gets deeper and always becomes worse. They will punish you each time you take them back until you are left with no identity of your own. You will lose everything trying to have a grip on the narcissist. And that's when things like uh, PTSD episodes will kick in and it will take you a while, if not impossible, for you to get back to your normal self. Narcissists can make your life a living hell because you'll always lose and never win in conflicts against a narcissist. No one can make a narcissist responsible for their actions. That is why they can get away with all the nasty things that they do to people. The best thing is to go no contact because it is all what you need for yourself. So this is the true description of life with a narcissist and it is a common scenario of what it is like to be in a relationship with a narcissist. Thank you for watching. And if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are new on my channel, thank you for coming on. And please subscribe, share, leave your comment on the box below. Click on the notification bell so that when I upload a new video, you will be notified. To my already subscribers, thank you so much for your continued support. And let's meet on the next video.